Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Masika Ifuro. Today I am here to do a review and wear test on the new KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Foundation and I am in the shade Tan 68. So if you'd like to see how this new foundation holds up on my very oily skin and how it applies, please keep on watching. It does come in a really beautiful packaging. The package is glass with the embroidery engraved in it, which is really, really pretty. I did use primer first, my Lancome primer to be exact, and always shake your liquid foundations. This foundation does come with a pump, which I love. This is a full coverage as my marks is covered and I lightly use this just to save time because this is a wear test. I'm going to finish up with my rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll be back to show you how everything came together. Everything applied very, very easily with very little effort for this new KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Foundation. This is really a full coverage foundation and I don't feel anything on my skin at all. This is super, super lightweight. I didn't use any concealer with this foundation because I feel like when I do a wear test, I like to test the product by itself. I don't like to mix all concealers with every foundation. So I give them a try by themselves first and then I decide based on my concealers which one would be appropriate for using with this but i did use i did use primer today and for primer i use my lancome la base primer and for setting powder i use my house lab setting powder and for setting spray i use my todd stay spray for my red lipstick, I'm using Marc Jacobs. I believe this is Old Sherry. Yes, this is one of my favorite reds. This is Old Sherry. And I am going to be keeping this foundation on for the entire day. And I'm going to come back later on tonight and show you how it held up. Or if it fell apart on my very oily skin. I did purchase this foundation from Ulta Beauty. After wearing this new KVD Full Coverage Serum Foundation all day this is the status of my face i personally feel like i'm a little bit shiny in my t-zone area a little bit on my forehead as you can see a little bit shiny right here however i didn't use any concealer today on the bottom of my eyes and all of the foundation is still there below my eyes on both sides. I don't have any creasing, any type of separation. My blush and my highlighter is still there. Everything is still there. I feel like this is a really, really lovely serum foundation. It's very lightweight. It does feel like a serum. It's really, really long wearing. It's super super full coverage the claims to this one is that it's a natural coverage foundation i feel like this is perfect for all skin types it did apply a little bit matte however it wasn't like a drying matte it was more like a satin matte so i feel like this is perfect for everyone if you're looking for something that's super lightweight that's transfer proof you can wear this it doesn't rub off on your mask if you still have to wear a mask or if you hug or if you kiss someone or if you change your clothes it's not going to rub off on your clothes as none of it is on my sweater and that is really really lovely but 
I will absolutely recommend this to everyone. Like I said, it works really, really lovely for me. I can see myself reaching for this and this becoming one of my top favorites foundations. It's so all clean, it's vegan. It's really, really lovely. If there's anything that I didn't mention about this beautiful new KVD, serum full coverage foundation be sure to leave me a question in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to respond if you're new here be sure to subscribe to my channel as i do look forward to bringing you more videos like these thank you so much for watching